Welcome back to Bearded Barbecue and Adventures, everybody. You may remember Ryan from the last time. Hello. He's the one that said it was raining and threw water on me when we were in San Antonio. And he's got water right there, so I'm a little nervous. But that's all right. We're out here. We've got Little Bear with us. He's kind of chilling in the tent right now. And uh, we're going to do some camping this weekend. So we've got a good spot right here on the river. We're going to roast some marshmallows, make some s'mores. I think we're going to do hot dogs for dinner tonight. We've got steak planned for tomorrow night. So... We're just going to relax and chill, enjoy a nice weekend. The weather is absolutely perfect. So it's quiet. The only thing out here is coyotes. Right? The coyotes. Yeah, that's the why coyotes. my little bear's in the tent. He's scared yeah. of the coyotes. <laughs> he heard them calling. He's afraid they're going to come party with him. That's all right, though. They got hogs out here, coyotes, surrounded by nature. I think I just heard a crow. All right, guys. Well, we'll kick this adventure off. We'll see you in the next segment. And stay Thank tuned. You. I'll be doing a kickoff spin of Frothy Fridays uh, with Wet Wednesdays where I review water. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be getting ready to do our hot dogs here shortly. And I've got this uh, hibachi style grill that my wife got from her work long time ago we've never used it so i thought tonight would be perfect so we're going to be trying that out tonight and uh we got a little bit of a stockpile of wood for tonight we've got our fire going over there we put some color changing stuff in it and then little bear what you what you crunching on over there hot fries hot fries and uncle ryan chilling over there all right we'll get these hot dogs going shortly all right, got the dogs on. All right, everybody. So we are at uh, this place called Navasota River Ranch, owned by a guy by the name of Bill. And we found this place through Hip Camp. And he's got about 600 acres that has been in his family for just generations, he was telling us. And so he's kind of uh, led us go and explore and just kind of take a look at your seatbelt. <laughs> take a look at uh, everything on his land right and these got trails all throughout here and so that's what we're doing today we're going to do a little hiking a little exploring just seeing what it has to offer um so far the land has been gorgeous we got in last night not too long before dark so you kind of saw some of that already but we got up had a little breakfast this morning and now we're just kind of we got all day to do some exploring so that's what we're going to do
do a little bit of exploring. You can see a uh, Ryan and Little Bear over there. There's this like dried out uh, creek bed. You can kind of see that a lot of hunters come to this area, deer hunting and whatnot. So we're just gonna kind of walk around and see what we can find. As we're walking around here, I can smell like wild onions, but I don't see any. You see any over there by you? No. Nope. So that's one thing that's pretty interesting. It's like when you come out in these remote areas, you don't tell them what you're gonna find. Man, it's like really strong over here. Some wild onions somewhere. Maybe we'll find some in a little bit. All right, well, we found the wild onions. It is a really strong smell, but yeah. It smells good. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you don't like wild onions? <laughs> there it is, a little patch growing right in the ground. This stuff right there, you can smell it and it has a different texture than regular grass blades. It's pretty neat. Took a hike down uh, by some deer stands, and we made it to this uh, sandbar. Basically, I kind of came up from there. You can see the river going on down that way. So it was a really nice hike. We're enjoying our time here, right, little bear? Mm -hmm. That was a mm-hmm. In case you didn't hear it, this is what happens when you try to explore a gully, and uh, it looks dry. But you can see from where my rear end landed, it was not dry. <laughs> All right, after some exploring and checking out the river, it is now lunchtime and we are setting up the little uh, Allstate grill and uh, gonna do some burgers. This little grill did our hot dogs really good last night, so we put burgers on it today.
the grate on it is a little cantankerous because the heat well i guess the grill was kind of warped when i got it but the heat makes it expand we actually made it a little easier to put on so there we go now we get our four burgers on there we'll be in business We've been exploring. We went hiking. I slipped. I fell in the mud. Got my jeans muddy. Thankfully, I brought another pair. And we went out riding. The wife came by and visited for a little bit. It's about uh, late afternoon, 3.30ish. And I think what we're gonna do is just kind of relax and chill at camp for a little bit. Tonight, we're gonna be doing some some steak so I'm sure you'll be seeing that next i'm gonna attempt to uh light the fire again with my ferro rod i did it last night but i wasn't sure how long it would take me and i was just trying to practice so i didn't film it but we'll get it going but anyway um yeah having a good day Time for steak.
Mm, listen to that sizzle. Just season them up with a little bit of brisket seasoning. It's exceptionally good on steak. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this steak up. This one's mine. I like it a little bit more rare than the rest of them. So we're gonna let it rest for a minute and then cut into it and see how it looks. All right, let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Oh, it's very tender. Let's see, it's like shredding. I didn't bring a, oh yeah, that's super rare. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. This does it for another adventure from Bearded Barbecue and Adventures. I hope you had a great time following along with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like videos and content like this, please make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. So until next time, we'll see you behind the grill or behind the wheel.